Uh, this is Justin. This is Joy. Uh, welcome to Wednesday Night Hop. This was Level 2, Flashy Charleston, December 2017, Week 2. Uh, so we reviewed the chase entrance into tandem with a yo-yo exit. So that looked like this. And then we'll do one basic, basic here. Five, six, seven. Bounce out. And then you're out. And we said one or both of you is going to do one or more foot punches <laughs> until you get onto your right feet. We didn't really talk about how to do it, but you were all able to do it. Yeah. Um, but what we did work on was the yo-yo from in tandem out back in in. So it looks like this. We'll show it from a different angle. How about this angle? Two, three, ha. five, six. And one thing and we said, oh, go ahead, Joy. Oh, uh, we talked about the lead for this is that kind of if you start thinking about it on your forward kick on the right foot to remove the left hand and place it on my back, um, then I can rock step, you know, sorry, I can rock step into that hand and there's a sink and rebound, which will cause me to kind of stretch out. And because I'm holding, he's still holding onto my right hand, this causes me to turn and there's a stretch here and then it causes me to rebound back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we compress ha. in. Ha. 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 And sort of the amount of compression you get in is going to be equal to the amount of uh, tension that you get when you're out. Yeah. Um, and then we also talked about for follows to make this work. One, I do hold my frame uh, pretty more statically than floppy. Um, so rather than just kind of like loosely uh, letting them go anywhere, I keep it here and I go all the way. So when he's asked me to go back and then forward, I'm kind of going as far as I can until I feel um, him pulling my frame back. And that's what causes me to rebound and come back. We also showed that you could do this with a kick instead of a rock step. So the footwork we had been doing was rock step, kick step, rock step, kick step, but you could also do the regular Charleston footwork. And we'll show you that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it's rock step, kick step, kick, kick step, rock step. So that's just an it's just a variation, but we said when you do it that way we sort of want it to have the same feel as when we or were. Or there's this the kind of rock away even though I'm kicking. Okay. Cool. So that was the first move we did? Yeah. And then we did the turn. So this was an exit from tandem. Ha. Three, five, six, seven. Ha. One, two, three, ha. five, six, seven, eight, one. And uh, we said leaders, I'll show you the other way to do it is we don't have to turn, we can just stay in place. It's just a variation for us. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one. Either way, it's exactly the same footwork for both of us, which is rock step, kick step, and then keep and then kicking. keep kicking <laughs> until you catch here. Yeah, and we talked about for follows arms, kind of keeping these like airplane arms. So rather than having the elbows in or like jutting forward or back, which makes it kind of hard, um, I keep it pretty low and dropped so that when I'm kicking around, uh, so if I'm just kicking solo, it's like this. And then if Justin catches me, um, he knows where my hand's going to be because it's consistent and following, like following my frame. So the timing on this is uh, the following. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And uh, so we said that leaders, we never want to sort of toss our partner's hand when we're letting go. We want to sort of move our hand at the rate that our partner wants to be turning. So that's true here. And that's also true on this free spin. It's not a toss it's just a i move my hand at the right speed for joy's turn yeah um we also talked about how it is kind of leads prerogative to make sure that they're asking for the right speed of turn so that i can rotate around enough that i hit this on one because if they go too slowly then i won't quite make it in which case if the lead kind of didn't give me enough then i will kind of speed it up to get like to catch the kick there but it is better if the lead gives enough so then we showed a variation on this move, which looked like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And this is exactly the same thing just with this lock turn. So let's show you the footwork for that lock turn. Still we're, we're all starting with, it's exactly the same for rock leaders and follows. Uh, starting with their left, five, six, seven. Rock, one, two, step, three, kick, four, step, five, lock. Five, six, kick, kick step, step, kick. <laughs> 
So again, it's rock step, kick step, lock, and then kick step with your left. Yeah. And then you've got your right foot free. And we talked about on that lock where my weight's actually transitioning over to my right foot so that I can give a driving kick on my left, with my left. Let's show that from a different angle, maybe this angle, maybe this angle. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, kick, step, kick. And followers, you're making an extra half turn than the leaders. Yeah, and that's kind of on me to help drive that around. Okay, so we did that. That was Oh, cool. it was also solo, so even if Justin does a normal one, I can do it. Or if I Justin does a lock turn, I can also do a normal. Um, yeah, but if Justin has a kind of bigger prep into the down, like prep into the lock, then I can feel it, and then I can I kind of know a lock is coming and can match it. So that was the second thing we did, or the third thing we did, I mm -hmm. guess, it's part 2B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, part 3 was the following move. We don't have a name for this, but it looks like this. 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3. So this move is different than the first move, the yo-yo, because I you keep my left hand as opposed to keeping my right hand. So other, other than that, it, the lead is, the beginning is similar. 1, 2, 3. Five, six, and the, my partner sinks into my le into my right hand. The rock step, ha, and then because I've been sent a forward, I want to continue that forward with this kick, but I will keep my frame, and that's what pulls me back in. So all together, looks like this, ha, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo, ha. And you saw that my footwork was just in place, kick kick step. So it's just a regular Charleston basic for the leaders. And it turns out the same footwork for you too. It's just this dynamic. Motion. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for that to work really nicely and for it to feel nice, it's on me to be able to kind of give this driving kick step away. Yeah. Rather than kind of flopping, like kicking that way where I'm not using the kick. So the main thing that we want to suggest for you all, I guess three things for you to take away and remember. Number one, when we get into Tandem Charleston, I'm still seeing some people using the wrong hands. So make sure you get your right hand back and left hand uh, forward when you start Tandem, number one. Number two, whenever we're doing any of these push out moves, we need to get leaders our hand there pretty early, like maybe on the end of eight, so that our partner feels comfortable sinking in on one. So make sure you get your hand there early. And number three is that what I said once more with feeling, that n these moves are really cool, but they're about a feeling between us, and that requires us to make them dynamic and big. And if you make them small, it's just, it's not as fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and follows you to focus a lot on, on frame um, and kind of using those kicks to like drive our movement. Um, yeah, so rather than having them be separate. We have some cool stuff lined up for you next week, and we'll see you then. Yeah. Thank you.